how to uh, just to feel better, I guess. But so I get a lot of inquiries all the time. People want to know how to stop this. Uh, I'm gonna be real with you on this one. Uh, There ain't no way to shut it off. There's a way to stop these gang stalking hackers. That's for sure. Um, I know for certain, I know how they do this. And there's a way, there's a way to stop them. But let me just go over some of the things that you need to do, the things that you need to start doing and the way that you're gonna have to live. So I wanna tell you that these gang stalkers, I don't see them stopping. Um, this guy that came on my channel, okay, so I, I know who put me on target, okay, and I believe that this person bought my neural monitoring sometime prior to 2013, and uh, it's a lot like slavery, and it's a lot like um, human trafficking, sex trafficking, um, whether it's real life or as a broadcast, if you're a human and you're dealing with broadcast, then it's kind of both. But they can live as a broadcast. They really can live as a broadcast. And that's, to them, it, it's almost like a virtual reality. And they're not the same when they're on broadcast. Um, they're getting on my eye a lot again this morning. Uh, they started They started yesterday, uh, last night when I got home, they started getting on my eyes, and um, I slept pretty good, though, I guess. Uh, they are back on my eyes this morning, so um, off work today, so I'm going to try to go ahead and put together this little report package for uh, the last two weeks when they've been breaking up my phones and doing all kinds of dumb stuff. So go ahead and file that today um, just to keep it, keep it documented and keep it moving. I don't care that the police aren't doing anything. I mean, I do, I do care, but I don't, it's not uh, a discouragement. It's not gonna make me stop doing that. I'm still gonna go. Uh, if they are tired of seeing me, I, okay, what do you wanna do then? Um, you, you can't arrest me. I'm not in here flaking out saying, oh, they're talking to me. Ah. You know, I'm not doing that. Uh, I'm in here telling the police that um, these things are happening to my devices and my accounts. It's illegal and something should be done about it. And it's not. So I'm going to continue to, to, to do that. I'm going to have to get my battery. I don't know what's going on with my phone right now, but it seems like. It doesn't want to charge. Like they could literally go in and change all kinds of stuff all the time, man. Keep your keep your phone from charging, and they do little dumb stuff like like uh, change the way that you know my autocomplete works, and like insert stupid words and stuff all the time. And I have to pay attention. You got to pay attention to what's going on right now. They're touching my uh, my left eardrum. So, uh, but I'm about to get into this whole thing. It's going to be about, at least probably about a 20 or 30 minute live stream. Who knows? It could go on for an hour. I uh, just plugged in my, plugged in my phone to my battery. Okay, so. <clears throat> You're going to want to start by making sure that you got your mind right. If you're in a frenzy all the time and nervous, or if you're on drugs, or if you're in a bad situation in life, and I know how it gets, I know how they can get you into a situation where you don't feel like you can accomplish anything, you feel like you're doomed, and all of these things I understand. Um, just so you know, this has been going on for me uh, before I even knew about it, but I really started kind of noticing some stuff happening in 2014 and in 2015 is when it really jumped off and they started full time like with people on my channel talking and everything so 
um, you know, and I, I know some people that are involved with doing this kind of stuff, and I know uh, some of them very well, like very closely. But this guy, Black James, was somebody that I knew through the person that put me on target, that bought my neural monitoring. And so when he came on my channel, you know, I knew immediately it was him. I, I didn't know him very well, but I had been around him 10 times before. So I, I knew it was him immediately, and... One thing that he was saying was like, you know, are you ready? Because these mm -mm's are relentless. These mother efforts are relentless. And I hope you're ready for this. And um, who could have really imagined that I would have some idiots that were willing to stay on my channel 24-7 uh, for, you know, five, six, seven, eight years? I would have never thought so. I mean, they're basically, they've sacrificed their life to be a gang stalker in a part of my life and they've made it into their career they make money off of their live streams doing what they do and um, it's very much about hacking in the first place and one thing you got to do is make sure you're off drugs and make sure you got your mind right and get a plan together all right and try to allocate your time because time is really time and people that's all you have in this life and everything else is is a facade, really. Everything else is just just an idea or a, a item. Drink a lot of water, okay? But when you're ready to get serious, you're ready to start solving these problems. You need to start from the beginning. Here, I got something for you, bro. There you go. There you go. We don't we don't need that. We don't need that garbage on my channel and I won't have it. All right? Uh, these people got enough problems without idiots like you saying this don't exist. This don't exist. I, nobody cares what you say because we know what's going on because we live through this every day. I know the people. I caught people with mind control headsets on. I done did a thousand things to prove a lot of this stuff, all right? You wanna come on my channel and say, this don't exist, bye. Go make a new account, idiot. Go make a new account. Somebody just turned down my brightness. All right, my phone's all right, and this idiot, this one idiot, I call him Stain. Um, he typically, that's one of his things. He likes to turn down my brightness while I'm doing stuff on my phone. And that's what he just did. And I checked to make sure my battery's not going dead and it's on charge. So this idiot just turned down my brightness. What a moron. You're so cool. You're so cool, fat boy. Um, you got to start from the beginning, all right? I would recommend doing this, okay? Get a laptop or desktop, a real computer, not a phone, not a mobile device, a home computer, desktop or laptop, get one, okay? Mac is what I use, but Windows is fine, all right? It doesn't matter what you use. If you get either or, you can run Mac, Windows, or Linux with VirtualBox as a virtual machine on, in, on any of those. So doesn't matter which one you get just get one it can be old it can be uh you know don't, don't make it too old because it doesn't matter all right they're not expensive you can get a brand new laptop at walmart for 150 dollars. all right but if you want to spend a couple hundred dollars you could get a nice nicer laptop or use really nice laptop and just get one all right so get a laptop and then from there you need to start with some basics okay um so I'm um, not tech savvy is what everybody says, but it doesn't matter. Get tech savvy. You're going to have to. You want to be gang stalked forever or you want to spend the next year becoming uh, good with coding and stuff like that so you can resolve this and be done with it. OK, gang stalkers need your physical devices and they need your networks and they need your accounts. They need to be on your stuff because they're as a broadcast, living as a broadcast, and they they have a, a device they're looking at as a broadcast, and they need to connect to your network, and they need to connect to your device. They're mostly, what they'll do is host their virtual machine on your device. 
your storage probably don't add up. Your OS is four to four to six gigs. The rest of it should be open for your files, your apps, and if it's not, try to figure out where does that extra space at on your mobile devices, okay? They're definitely in your networks. So you need to learn, you need to start, either start with networks, okay? And learn about, um, you know, IP addresses and tunnel services and um, what are the differences between everything and DNS and, um, you know, all the different TCP and all the different protocols. You need to learn about those, okay? And learn about networks. And we all need to get together. And maybe I'll start a group, okay? Like on Facebook or something for, um, you know, for us to get together and share information about hacking and programming and networks to help us move along because this is the right pathway. I promise. I done tried everything. I done invented a whole bunch of methods of this and that, of photo editing and recording stuff and all kinds of stuff. It doesn't matter. None of that matters because uh, the police aren't really getting involved with this. Right, and I know some comments about to come on. The police are doing this. The police are involved. The police don't even know what's going on for the most part. They really don't. And um, do, do you? Do you know what's going on? Do, do you know what an API is? Can you make an API call? Do you know how to do an HTTP request from a console? Do you know um, how to read source code? The police don't either. That's not a requirement. You just got to pass a physical and not be a criminal. And then you could be a police officer. That doesn't make them a hacker. And nobody's a hacker, really. Okay, but these hackers become gang stalkers and become terrorists. That's what's going on. So start with the start with the networks and learn about that. Get make sure you enable local host and enable PHP to start off. And then then you got something that you're working with. Learn um, then get you a, a script editor, a text editor. I like Sublime. Get Sublime text editor or get um, VS Code or um, you know, there's a bunch of different ones. Just look into it. Go to YouTube. Click off this video when I'm done and say, um, what's the best text editors for coding? And, and pick one and get it. Get it on your laptop and then start from the beginning, okay? You're going to, like on Mac, on mine, on my MacBook, um, I go to users, Kevin Christian, and then sites folder okay and in the sites folder make folders of all my little projects okay so i can say um you know my website and then click in that folder and it's index.html and that's my that's my file then i open that file up I, I go in that file and i can write this html stuff learn html it's easy html is easy it's easy and it's the it's where you start and it'll get you on your way so learn HTML to start with, all right? And script out a little thing, a basic thing. You write, you type HTML and it'll like put the, it'll put all the little weird brackets and greater than, less than, and different little stuff. So it'll put that stuff for you half the time and follow along with some tutorials, how to write HTML, all right? It's very easy. So learn HTML today, learn it today, all right? And then you go on your browser, Safari or, or Chrome or whatever. File, open, open that file from the location. Users, Kevin Christian, my sites, um, you know, my website, index.html. And I open that file and the script that I've written comes out on the screen like a web page. And that's how you build a web page. It's a very basic thing. And then when you want to, Make your web page do something. I need to log in to my web page. Um, there's a lot of scripts that you can find. Get on WordPress and, and learn to use these APIs from like Facebook and Google and all the different stuff where you can integrate those things into your site. And, and is this going to help you? Yes. Either you're going to start to be successful in this 
field or you're going to start to understand things. You gotta st you're not going to understand how does a gang stalker insert a virtual machine on my device, hide it for me, allocate a amount of storage, uh, give themselves permissions and super user over me and make me just a, a basic user and control everything I do. How do they do all of this stuff? How are they in the background making HTTP requests to run a live stream on my Facebook and I can't see it? If you want to know these things, you're going to have to start from the beginning because I could show you a script. I mean, I don't have one. I could show you a script, though, that shows everything that they're doing and you wouldn't even know what you're looking at. Neither would I, really. And so you've got to start from the beginning. And it's the only way. You can't, uh, you can't, you can't uh, just hop on uh, some pro stuff when you, when you don't even know what you're looking at. So start with HTML. Set it up for set up local host so you can so you can do that. What I said about you know at first you type in local host in your browser once it's activated. All right, and I got videos showing me, me doing it. I've been fighting with these gang stalkers over stuff like this forever, and the fact that I even have to fight with them, or the fact that they unsubscribe you, or the fact that they delete you from my channel, or delete my comments, or block me on your channel, something like that. Like the fact that they do any of that should tell you a lot. Because I'm giving out real information. Um, is it going to help you if you detox your body of heavy metals? No. No. It, uh, maybe. Maybe it's healthier for you. But it's not going to help you with being gang stalked. I promise. All right? It's, it's not going to help you from being gang stalked. Can you build a Faraday cage and block it? Maybe. I've not seen anyone successfully do that. And if you can, are you going to live in that little igloo forever? These are just questions that you need to ask yourself. Do you want to be gang stalked? Do you want to be gang stalked for 10 or 20 years? You know, if your 13 year old is starting to be gang stalked and, um, you know, you got some ex that's trying to destroy you or who knows what their intention is or if they're just abusive because their parents were abusive to them. Maybe they were abused and now they want to take it out on you. Maybe they're just evil and good luck trying to understand that. If you're not, if you're not evil, I don't see how you could understand it. It's not, it doesn't make any sense to me. It's not a logical way to think. It's not a logical thought process. There's some things that you care about, and there's some things that you don't care about. If you don't care about hurting people, innocent people, innocent, cool, nice people, or innocent, ugly, horrible people, okay, if, you're, if you don't care to, about hurting people, then um, it's going to be hard for me and you to come to a, to a conclusion together on some understandings because your values are different than mine and I'm not going to understand things because, okay, and I, I don't take it as a weakness. It's definitely not a weakness, okay? If, um, you know, if, if you care about this and I don't care about this, then can you exploit it or... You're going to use it as a thing against me. Or maybe I can use it as a thing against you. Everything works both ways. So when you learn HTML, back to this, when you learn HTML and you can do a, the, some basic things on a web page, you'll start to get excited probably. You'll be like, oh, 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 this is how it works. Okay, cool. So you'll start to be able to make things on a page, a web page. And you'll see how writing a file and opening it with your browser can make a web page. And then from there... You want your web page to do something. You want to be able to log in. You need to use a server-side language like PHP. That's the big one that gang stalkers use. Um, if you don't have PHP enabled, then you're going to be at a big disadvantage. It makes it a lot easier for them to hide things from you. Uh, if you're not on um, developers.facebook, if you're not on Google Developer, if you're not on the developer side of all these things, and they tell you how to do everything. You just start reading. Start reading from the beginning, you know, how to use this, how to do that. And there's so many uh, good tutorials and stuff like that on the Internet, on YouTube and everywhere else, where people show you how to do these things. Like how you, you know, getting started with the iOS SDK from Facebook, getting started with the PHP SDK from Facebook, um, you know, getting started on Google Developer, how to be a Google admin. Are you a Google admin? Who's your Google admin then? If you're not your own Google admin, then who is your Google admin? 
be nice to know, huh? Um, these are just little questions that you need to ask yourself. And, you know, I'm going to go today and I'm going to file another police report because they're just, they're, they're messing up my devices and like, it's, I call it destroying property. Okay. I'm losing data and they're doing stuff and they're on my devices and I don't approve of it. So they're using my devices to host their virtual machines. They're running API calls in the background to communicate with my accounts. And so ultimately that's a few crimes that I could say right off the jump. Okay. It's, um, it's computer trespass. And then they're using that in a malicious way to, uh, suppress me. Okay. And to try to control things that I can, Oh, we don't want you doing this. So they're just like taking action. We don't want you taking a video right now. So they'll take an action and the action will be fill up my storage. So it's telling me that my storage is full when I know it's not. Okay, we don't want you posting this on this account. So they'll just like log me out and shut down my service. I'm trying to drag it out or drag out a long fight and make it hard. They're wasting my time. For that, they owe me some money. I'm not, I'm not cheap, bruh. I'm not cheap. If you wasted some of my time, I, I'm charging a lot for that. Especially because I did not consent to this. Um, you're forcing me to have to do some tasks um, to deal with you and I, I i pay for this service and i pay for this phone and that means it's mine and it belongs to me if i go to work or if i make some money somehow and then i use that money to pay for my things and pay for a service that's my service and if you're doing something to that service that's theft of services and you're wasting my time and i'm expensive you're you're uh, using my accounts to do your live streams and that's account fraud and identity theft okay and you're uh, on my device with computer trespassing. So there you go for about four or five crimes that are on the books now. Okay. And how are you going to prove all of these things? The only way you're going to prove all of these things is start from the beginning. Networks. What is the internet? What is HTML? How do I do it? Get a text editor. Learn how to uh, enable your local host. Learn what local host is. Okay. Local host is... It's Apache server. And if you have a computer, then it's a personal computer, whether it's a Mac or a PC Windows computer. It's still a personal computer, okay? If you want to process pages like web pages and, and uh, computer languages like PHP and stuff, then you need to run it as a server. So... If you go into your HTTPD configuration file and then you edit that to enable the languages, okay? Whatever languages you want, they're all in there. A bunch of stuff's in there. You'll see it when you get on it, all right? And then you can type in this Apache space uh, CTL start. I think that's how it's done. And it'll say... Um, It'll say whether it started or not. And you can, there's a, there's like testing scripts you can run. You're going to have to open the terminal, the command line, and just start doing stuff in there. So when you enable Apache server, that's localhost, 127.0.0.1. Works. It says it works. That's what it says. It works. On your screen, on the page, like, like that's what the web page says. It works. When you type in localhost. From there, you can go into your sites folder in your username, okay? Um, users. So, look, you do it like this. Uh, my computer, users, your name, sites, okay? And in the sites folder, you got an index file. Or you got, if you got multiple projects, multiple websites, multiple apps, any scripting, uh, text editor type stuff you're working on, any programs you're working on, um, you're going to want to work on the, probably a bunch of different stuff to learn about this stuff. So you get on there and then you got the folders, you know, here, my website, my app, um, you know, my, my secret project. And then in each one, you got an index file, index.html or index.php, whatever, whatever you're working with. You can work with those together, HTML and PHP together. They work together and it would be a .php index.php and you open that so if you got php you know you would say 
um, you would write a little test file. You would say, uh, make the little, the little uh, alligator signs, you know, with the question mark. You look it up, look it up. I'm not doing a tutorial about it right now, but um, look it up how to do that. And then echo, hello world, you know, and then the close, closing tag. It's like slash PHP or whatever. Like learn the basics like that, okay? And then on your screen, you open that file and it'll say, hello world, right? Now you're initiated into, into, the, into the coding world. All right, when, when you make your browser say it works and then you enable your PHP and it says hello world on your browser, you run that test file, you're, you're wide open for scripting now. Now you're set up. So um, my computer, users, um, your name, sites. All right, and then from there you put your projects in there and each one has an index file and you can work from there and learn, learn about it. That's some basics of web development, of, of app development. Um, it could be iOS, it could be Android, it could be any of those things. But, you know, if you become a web developer, well, um, you know, if you're any good at it, then good luck uh, trying to spend all that money. This is going to be hard. You'll probably be making a lot. That's the worst thing that could have probably happen. You know, or, or, or you might know something. You might know something, how to, how to do things. Um, but what's going to happen is you're going to start to find things. This is what happened to me, okay? I was building a website, and then I, I was following along with, like, how to do this and how to do that, learn HTML and CSS, and, and then started on PHP and got local host enabled, and everything's going. And I didn't realize at the time that this is, this is a big deal. It's a big deal because it opens you up to the world of coding and it puts you in a position where you can find all of the PHP sites and the different things that gang stalkers are doing, the things that they're using. I didn't really, really realize that. Excuse me. I didn't really realize that. Um, I was just working on building my website. So I was still trying to do, uh, you know, telepathic recordings, which, which I really could do those. You know, it's not like I can record them, just turn it on and record them with a microphone. It ain't how it works. You got to figure out a way to record a signal rather than a sound wave. And I used to do it as interference through call recordings, calling myself from another phone using a call recording app. But, um, you know, it's hit or miss and it's not that good. And there's got to be a better way. But you're trying to record a signal, not a, not a, a sound wave, because it's not a sound wave. It's a signal. And it's on your channel, your frequency. So, yeah, you can hear it. And nobody else will. And that's one of the ways that it's making you look crazy. But they're using it like, uh, like a, you know, like a free phone service, these gang stalkers. Uh, but, you know, I, I got all of that stuff enabled. And, and then I realized, like, they were getting off my devices. This was back in 2017 when I was building telepathicsaga.com. And I took it down now. I'm going to put it back up probably pretty soon um i just i want to get it i want to get it completely working right with the sql databases and uh server side stuff like you know written in php where people can log in or subscribe to newsletters or what all this kind of stuff i want to make it complete and uh functional if it's not doing anything you can use html and make a whole website and click between pages and do all kind of stuff. But it's, until it's linked to a database, a SQL database or some kind of database, and then um, set up with uh, a server, a, like, or you can serve it yourself off localhost. You can do that yourself, okay? And you can set up all that stuff yourself. But, uh, you know, if you wanted to have, like, a, a serious website with a lot of traffic, you would want to get a hosting package and then, um, then either way, you could process PHP and these other languages when you enable them in that HTTPD uh, config file. And you could find all of that, like how to enable localhost and PHP. Type it in on YouTube. You'll find hundreds of tutorials. Type it in on Google, and you'll find written out tutorials for your specific type of machine. And that's one thing that you need to do is get your localhost enabled and get... PHP and some of these other languages enabled and then start learning a little bit about scripts. And then when you look into things, when you go digging like we do, you'll find something and you'll understand what it means. Money, 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 money. Um, 
I don't know. I mean, I, I think you could, you, you know, it's funny. People will pay $1,000 for an iPhone, but they won't pay $150 for a laptop. And, um, and a laptop's 10 times more powerful and can do all of these things, you know. You could get on Xcode and uh, into the, all the developer, Apple developer stuff and, and um, completely control and dominate an iPhone, you know, remotely. <laughs> and, you know, use the Xcode. That's what they do. That's what these gang stalkers do. And people talk about, uh, well, Xcode is for, uh, for Apple stuff, you know. And then Android Studio, that's for Androids. You can't, um, you could get like a, a file thing or like um, switch, what is that, smart switch or whatever for Samsung's. And you can get backups, but they're not real backups. If you want a real backup of your device, you just go in Android Studio. You plug your device to it, and once everything's enabled, like the ADB, the, and what is it, the Android, the something, bridge, something, I don't know, ADB. ADB is one of the most important things. So you could get on your command line and be like ADB this or ADB that. ADB backup all. It'll copy your whole phone. The operating system, the apps, the data, everything. You get on Android Studio and type in ADB backup and then a little dash all. And while your Android's plugged to it. And, it, hey, these gang stalkers will have a fit. You'll be getting their virtual devices and all kind of stuff. It's not what they want you to do. Because that's the stuff that they do. Okay, so if you can't beat them, then you're going to have to figure out how to do what they do. And that's what we have to do. I'm not too smart for you. I don't know what that means. but um, Maybe I'm not that smart. I mean, I don't know. I know that nobody else is out here on the internet talking about the real reality of what's going on and the real reality of what we need to do about it. People are talking about uh, spirits and demons and detoxing heavy metals and more Gellin's disease and nanoparticles, smart dust and uh, this, the FBI and just a bunch of stuff that doesn't pertain to these hackers over here that are doing this stuff to me because they gained access to neural monitoring because they got uh, their DNS and their um, local hosts and PHP enabled and they got all these different things and they learn how to read source code and boom, they happened up on something that gave them access to neural monitoring. It's not some kind of coincidence that... Um, you know, millions of people around the world have figured out how to get on neural monitoring. They didn't all join the Illuminati. I mean, you can tell yourself that if you want to. Believe whatever you want to. It's happening to me for seven or eight years now. It's been happening way longer than that. That's how long I know about it. All right, since then, I've came up with a way to actually record gang stalkers and artificial telepathy. I came up with all these things I came up with on my own. It's not stuff I could find on, there was nothing to find. All right, when people look now, they find me. So I came up with how to edit photography and there's better ways, but that's something that I came up with. Okay, I came up with how to uh, dig into your file system and find their stuff in the root file systems and then and then, um, you know, how to look in the background and, and see them running HTTP requests, you know, to this site and that site. Um, there's a whole bunch of things I came up with over the years. And it's all the, the real truth. So when I dug around on the Internet, I couldn't find anything, nothing that was accurate because I knew what I was experiencing and I knew some of these people that were doing this stuff and I knew, um, you know, there was, there was one thing that I was uh, inaccurate on, partially, because I used to think that, uh, that they had to wear the mind control headset to be on mind control, okay? And they don't, okay? They don't have to wear the mind control headset 
to be on mind control. I still believe that they have to wear the mind control headset to connect to the broadcast and actually live as a broadcast. I think they need the headset for that, but I'm not exactly certain. I know that they need the headset for something because I know that they have them and I know that they exist and I've caught somebody with them before. All right, and I, but I, I now know that they can be on mind control without having a headset on. So, I know that um, some of the things that I've come up with have been verified. I know that they can go on to like the PowerShell on a Windows computer and download your whole phone. Because I, uh, I caught somebody doing that. And when I say I caught somebody doing that, okay, this girl who became a gang stalker made a video of herself doing it, and I seen the video, okay? And uh, so, yeah, I caught somebody firsthand doing that. And you know I got it. You know I got it. So, um, you know, it, of course, if you make a video of yourself downloading my phone and I see the video, yeah, I'm going to video the video. Why not? Okay, uh, same person um, verified a lot for me because I also they also made a video using um, it was a command line program. They pulled it up on the PowerShell and then it pulled up a picture with it. Okay, and did all this from the, from the PowerShell, so you're on the command line a lot doing all this stuff. But she pulled up the program and the photo from the PowerShell and then ran this like colorized static over it. Okay, and the colorized static was, was showing the, the letters that I always say are like the, the advertisement for the broadcast. It was showing all of that. All right, and she would stop it. She made a video of herself doing this. She would stop it, you know, and then she would write down a couple of letters and then like do it some more. And she was getting the whole link so she could get on to, um, I want to say a site, but it's, what is more likely is like a, um, a name, a file name. Uh, uh, on somebody's server, like say for instance the Howard Circle Gang Stalkers, you might not find a lot of their stuff online because a lot of their stuff is on their server, their local host server. Okay, and they'll have like a FTP uh, transfer that you can, you know, if you hit them up and say, hey, I'll, you know, send them a. a request you know to download the video or whatever through uh file transfer protocol ftp server and they run stuff like that and they they're serving up their own stuff so maybe i missed something i don't know what you're talking about but these um these comments that come on live videos they don't show up later so and most of the time I miss them because it's, it's small in the corner of my screen. And um, you know, I gotta become a hacker. Right now, this is what I'm working on. Right now I'm working on, um, I'm working on a Facebook app using the iOS SDK. Um, and I'm working on, uh, I got some project in Android Studio that I started messing with. I forget what it was. And then last night, I just kind of started messing around to refresh my mind on uh, HTML. And um, I've been working like with basic, just basic little things with PHP and, and HTML. And what I want to do is um, I want to like create an app, some kind of basic thing, and then learn how to put it on my phone and then uh, if I can learn how to do that, then I can learn, I should automatically know how to take an app off my phone and how to look into the scripting of it, okay? And that's what I think is important because a gang stalker will take, um, they'll, they'll modify your apps and use, like they might use your Gmail app as their, um, you know, as like their virtual machine and give it a bunch of permissions and it has a browser and they can just log into it and, they're using command line for a lot of stuff. Uh, and they'll just take over something like that. You know, you ever go into an app and it just won't work. 
and shuts down four or five times in a row. And normally it's stable, like Facebook or Gmail. These apps are stable. Trust me, these, these uh, trillion dollar companies ain't putting out unstable apps. Um, they're unstable because there's a gang stalker in the midst of using it at that moment. And they don't want you messing up their live stream. And they're running a live stream using uh, HTTP requests in the background. And they're running it over your accounts on your devices with your network. And so if you learn how to build a basic app, follow a tutorial on YouTube. Learn how to build a basic app, a Facebook app. Facebook is like the main stage. Facebook and Google, I think, are the two biggest um, things that you need to start learning about for the developer side. But, you know, go on, go on developer Facebook and <clears throat> be careful. If you type in like Facebook developer and it might be a spoof site or something. So type in developer Facebook and make it a search. So you can find, make sure you find the official one because I forget it's like developer Facebook or developers.facebook or facebook.developers or something like that. So the other ones are like people have made fake sites to, to draw you into that type of stuff. So make sure it's the official one. Go on there and learn, learn some basics, you know, and start building within like, Xcode or in a, in Sublime or any script ed coding editor and start building a basic Facebook app and enable local hosts and start, um, you know, running that stuff on your browser or run it like an Xcode. If you start writing an iOS Facebook app in Xcode, it opens up the simulator, the virtual machine. OK, so you then you got a virtual iPhone and you can you can have as many different ones, all of them. You can have a brand new iPhone 12 Pro Max a virtual device okay and you could you could set it up however you want to it's like a real it's like a real thing it's like the same as the the thing you're using if you got that physical device all right and you could set it up the way you want to and then if you could figure out how to load that whole thing on your device or on the internet then you got a virtual machine that you could use that like that's what they do you know they have they do it for themselves too like they have their phone a gang stalker have their phone and then they have uh, a virtual phone on their phone so they might have a you know a, a they could have this they could have a, a android samsung galaxy uh with a virtual ipad on it they could have that okay and, and they could have they could have a virtual ipad running linux they could have anything that you could set it up how you want to okay but Learning how to put those things onto your phone should give us the same knowledge in reverse, how to take these things off of your phone. And then when you take them off of your phone, how to look at them in the coding, the script editor, and see what's there. And then, you, then you'll see this. You'll see a gang stalker has uh, neural monitoring linked into it or some site or some server. There's something that they're running. It's... You got to get into the coding of things. It's a lot about coding. It's all about coding, really. Um, there's gang stalkers that are not hackers and coders. I'm dealing with some idiots that they just let on for other reasons. But, um, you know, they're, they're a lot more obvious and they're a lot more idi idiotic. But, you know, basically a gang stalker is a hacker that found neural monitoring and decided to use it in a malicious way. So EMF broadcast is what neural monitoring is. It's a satellite broadcast system. EMF, the electromagnetic field of Earth, is the infrastructure. They can read everything, okay? If you can feel it or if you can think it, if you're actively thinking something or feeling something or seeing something, any of those things, if your mind is processing something, then the system can read that. And then a gang stalker using the system, using neural monitoring to connect you and them they can set it up to receive you in that way, and then they can do everything that um, they can do. They can do everything they want to. They can uh, start turning on high pitch frequencies. You know, they can attack you with a broadcast. They can do all kinds of stuff, and the only way you can stop them is to get access to your own neural monitoring, like they have. They have access to their neural monitoring. They also have access to yours. So. That's how it works, and that's the pathway that you really have to start moving in. And if you don't move in that direction, you could be dealing with being gang stalked for 10 years. It's horrible. Don't do it. Don't do that. Don't do this. Don't wait. Don't wait. All right, start today. 
HTML, network protocols, local hosts. Okay, if if you get local hosts uh, working today and write a, some basic HTML today, then you know drink drink a lot of water, get some physical activity in, do some things productive to make money, and um, feel like you had a successful day. Okay, and do that for. 200 days do it for a thousand days and watch how quick you'll be on top of your whole life It don't take that long a thousand days is three years A thousand days is three years. I've been targeted for seven or eight now Okay, I believe that within A year I believe that if I stay on course, which I'm not messing my life up again I promise I will not mess my life up again. It's never happening again. I'm not messing with the wrong people again uh, these these girls that's uh, if you ain't got it together Don't even hit me up. Not not like that. Okay um, I'm not messing up my life again. I'm about to be a snobby uh, MF really I'm not messing up my life again. I'm about to get this money stacking way up Okay, and then uh, I'm gonna learn so much all these things and patience Patience and planning, time and people, okay? These things are important. So start today and come to terms with yourself. Like this is a process, okay? I can't bear it. I can't take it. You're going to have to deal with it and make progress every day and you'll feel good. They're going to punish you for it. And just remember, write down. A, write a little write a little thing write a little page every day You know, this is what these idiots did to me today And this is what I accomplished and they're mad about it And now it's documented and it's written and they can't delete it because I wrote it in my notebook Do those things and Within six months a year your life will be better You might be out of this horrible situation completely Within two or three years you'll be on top They'll be on their way to prison, and you'll be looking at the rest of your life um, in a lot better circumstance, with a lot more knowledge, feeling a lot more confident in yourself, and with a lot more power because of the tools that you've gained. So uh, I appreciate you guys watching. It's Monday morning, so it's time right now. Do it now, all right? Don't wait. You guys hit me up on Messenger or leave some comments after the video, um, you know, so I can see them. I can't see the comments during the video. You can hit me up on Messenger, then I got all the pages and groups. I got the pages and groups, targeted individual, artificial telepathy, gang stalking, EMF broadcast, uh, all of those. And I got the EMF broadcast photos page and then um, just a bunch of stuff, okay? It's Kevin Christian. I appreciate you guys. I'll see you on the next one.